All right, let's do Wild the Throne. All right, back down. <laughs> so we'll start you over here. Just lean back to well. We've all done that. Okay. Okay, be mindful of the falls here. Most, I would think for me, the most common fall would be that, again, that falling right to left. Um, so get into a place where you feel very secure in your well. It feels very solid before you try walking this. Okay. So we're here, we're solid. Um, let's just demonstrate a pop of fall here. Let's say you pop, you don't get high enough, and she falls right back onto you like that. That could happen. Um, not too bad because now you have that support with the shins. She won't fall on the head. Uh, but more than likely, I think, is the puff. The fall will happen um, as you're transitioning. We're just doing that transition up to well here. And you lose your balance and you drop them over here to the side, right? So that's why it's important for the basis. Again, the basic principle is to help but don't hold. So you're helping support, but you're not holding on because what is, happens when you're holding on and she's falling? <laughs> she has nothing to land off of. Yeah. So give that open hand yeah. support, okay? Open hand support and flyers. Be mindful of uh, when, let's say you're coming up and you're falling, so you're falling off, um, spot your fall and bring your feet down first and get ready to fall. How else can I teach falling? Falling out of that. One thing that you can do as a fly that really helps from preventing the fall is as you're coming up, sitting up here, you push into the hands here, into this easy throwing position. You're pushing into the base's hand so you have a strong platform there, okay? Coming back to the well. Um, okay, so the most important thing I would say is to keep that hand open and watch you that midline as you're walking up, okay? So keep your, I would support the heels. I feel like that's the strongest placement because her bones are staggering right through her heels here. If you grab towards the, the balls of the feet, I feel there isn't as much stacking going on. So grab more towards the heels. Actually, don't grab, just open support there, right? The, kind of the palm of my hand on the, the heel of her foot there. Up. So if I'm walking up to Thrown. I first have to be very clear about the position I'm going into, which is thrown. So be very clear that you're going up to that. So as she's going up to thrown, one thing that flyers have a difficult time doing is sitting up. How do they sit up? It's such a deep kind of sit up from there. So one thing I do, first thing I do is I bring my foot horizontal here. So now I'm on three points of contact. It makes it easy, the transition easier um, to occur. The second thing I'll do is, as I place my foot on her butt here, it's very hard for her just to sit up. So what I do is I'll lower my leg, I'll lower this leg on the butt, and I'll try to keep this leg high so that she's, to help her sit up. And I can also, for, for, for now, give her a little leverage by holding on to her feet this way so she can sit up. So now as she's sitting up, she's pulling her leg back. So I'm holding on just for a second, she'll sit up, and then I'll let go of the hands again. In case she falls. From there I place my foot onto the butt. That transition is gonna be a little challenging because you have it here, and once you have the foot on the butt, the um, the weight would be all kind of janky. So try this too. Try bringing your foot sideways here on her butt as well, and then have her sit up first. I think that'll give you a little more balance towards the middle. Foot on the other butt, and then shift down. Once you get that a few times, and you feel confident, I actually think a pop may be actually easier, because sometimes when you're walking, you're very intentional about things. All the little weights, subtle weight shifts, makes it even harder. So once you feel comfortable, I would, uh, with the spotter, have you take a step down, and pop it up to that. And that the whole time the flyer is pushing into your hands. Worst thing is she fall, starts to fall forward. You can still support but not hold on, and then she can just hop off. Okay. I want to 
to teach us to where you guys won't need a spotter because you won't always have a spotter, right? So let's see if there's a way to do that without a spotter. If not, always ask for a spotter before you try this. Okay, if there's no spotting, again, be mindful of the fall um, coming forward. If she falls too much forward, she's got to push into the, into the, uh, my hands there. And I've got to always give that support. If my arms cave at any time, she doesn't have a platform to push off of. So I'm pushing straight, and she's pushing down into my hands. Bring it back one more time. Again, though, let's do the walking up again. Foot comes sideways. Find that balance first. Put a foot on her butt. Let's go horizontal. As she sits up, I give her a little bit of some support here so she can sit up and then open my hands. Once she's there, my foot goes on her butt. Questions? This one's uh, a little.